Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually gotta have some crazy news going on, because if you guys maybe remember at the very, very start of the PlayStation 5 saga, we had a company, a pretty well-known company out there called Dbrand, actually go and be like, hey, Sony, you see what we're doing? If you think there's something wrong, sue us. And basically had like, you know, like a little bit kind of big showing. A lot of people are kind of thinking it was kind of funny, but overall they're trying their best to go and kind of resell and redo different types of PS5. More so in like the cases, like the outside of cases of this, customizable stuff. Basically Dbrand does a lot of customizable things. And uh, they're like, yeah, Sony, go sue us. So uh, what do you guys think happened a few, <laughs> a few months later? As of right now, there's a big legal drama going on as of now with Dbrand and Sony slash the PlayStation 5 now literally going into a big legal battle. So I want to talk about this because this is like the really big double whammy and uh, it's kind of funny but also kind of weird to go and talk about. So if you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy your weekends as well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the ps5 disc digital console controller twitter and twitch stream as well link down below sign up for weeble deposit 100 dollars you guys go get free stack free money coinbase you guys go buy 100 dollars worth of any cryptocurrency you guys go and get free bitcoin it's always linked down below let's go with time for this video because this one is a doozy <laughs> so basically you guys kind of got the really gist of it at the very start of the video itself but as of now boys as reported on over here by Hero Gamer, the company that told Sony, go ahead, go and sue us, now pulls the replacement PS5 plates from sale because Sony is saying they're threatening to go and sue them. <laughs> like, <laughs> jeez. So, kind of kind of funny. Let's go talk about it. There's also apparently some Reddit drama going on with this. Now, I do want to go and say my... <laughs> just, let's, let's just talk about it. <laughs> the company that told Sony to go ahead and sue us has pulled replacements for the PlayStation 5 plates from sale after Sony threatened to sue them. In February, this is actually quite a long time ago, Can Canadian-based device customization company Dbrand, which is actually kind of pretty well known, they've done a lot of different types of cases and styles for phones, other various types of technology, and most namely, at least for this video, the PlayStation 5. They made a really cool black PlayStation 5 like cover, which actually looked aesthetically very, very nice. I think a lot of people picked it on up. And it's, I think, a pretty well-known brand. I'm sure you guys have maybe seen other YouTubers get sponsored by Dbrand or just maybe bought their own products. It's a pretty, like, reputable and pretty big customization brand. So, they lost a replacement uh, PS5 plates called Dark Plates with a brazen ad towards the prospect of Sony's takedown, which a while ago they just basically were like, hey, man, we're just going to go and uh, if you want to sue us, Sony, go and sue us. And these are just, like, some really quick rough pictures of them. They do have, like, little engravings. Like, if you guys have a PlayStation 5 controller or have seen them, they have, like, little PlayStation logos and engravings, and they actually do have similar stuff on theirs, but, of course, not PS5 but branded, just like, a, you know, black outside case. So with the release of Dark Plates, the unthinkable has happened, Dbrand said at the time. We've taken Sony's monumental achievement in bad design and fixed it. We can only assume that our prizes are in the mail. So Dbrand's plate contains a microscopic texture, as do the official PS5 plates, but it's slightly different to Sony's PlayStation face dot button design. This is also kind of crazy, too, because they're also comparing this to, like, Squid Games, which we'll get to in a second. When you look at this microscopic texture inside the dark plates, what do you see? The brand said in a section of its website subtitled totally legal. <laughs> if your answer is a familiar but legally distinct apocalyptic spin on the classic PlayStation button shapes, you might be one of our lawyers. So go ahead and sue us, reads the top of the website. So this is kind of like, like the pre-talk on this. So now Dbrand now has said it subsequently received a letter from Sony now threatening legal action. It is now compiled with the demands as well. So they go take down and remove every product going on in regards to the PlayStation 5. In a Reddit post bemoaning the action from Sony, Dbrand said, Dark plates are dead. <laughs> so basically, this is literally, this is literally the company itself being like, uh, yeah, this is, this is not going to fly. It's, it's kind of gone. So literally, Sony themselves sent a cease and desist letter, which Dbrand has published online, but is not actually dated. Lawyers representing Sony accuses the company of trademark and copyright infringement, as well as counterfeiting. The letter goes on to demand Dbrand pull all marketing, promotion, and sales of dark plates worldwide. And of course, at this point right now, they literally did. And the next statement over here from Sony themselves on their legal case, if Dbrand refuses to cooperate in full with these demands, the letter continues or delays in responding to this letter, 
our client will be forced to take the actions it deemed necessary to protect his valuable intellectual property rights. So basically, Sony's trying to be like, hey, you guys are stepping on some toes. You guys are copying designs. We have to make sure we go and get rid of this due to trademark, which could lead into a few different things. Some speculation could lead towards the fact that PlayStation wants to go make their own custom branded stuff, either from like limited edition consoles, something like a black or red or purple or any type of like custom design, say for Horizon, God of War, faceplate for their actual uh, consoles. So they want to get rid of all the replacement ones because it's a big legal issue because they want to go and make the money themselves or even have their own custom, like, you know, proper brand. Or maybe at the same time too, they may just fully think it is a big legal issue when these ingrains on there, but I kind of don't think so. I think they're just more so trying to do their own stuff, whether it's limited edition consoles. Because if you have a cool plate kind of replacing stuff up, it definitely would cut down on those sales for those very, very big gaming fanatics. And as well also does kind of limit stuff you can maybe go and do without like you copying other brands, even though you are the original maker, if that makes kind of sense. So basically, if the brand refuses to uh, copy on these things over here too as well, they want to go take it down. The brand's explicative packet Reddit post, which is kind of funny because they look completely on right for this, takes issue with the action, which I mean, kind of rightfully so. I'm like on the 50-50. You guys can kind of leave your comments down below. It's totally cool if you guys disagree. But I do kind of feel like sometimes these companies do try their best to overstep boundaries. And it is somewhat okay for Sony to be like, hey, we just don't want this on our products. But on the same time, on the opposite side, I can see the other perspective of like, this isn't necessarily copying anything. There's no real trademark kind of being broken. And in all theory, if you can have someone make a better product, which in theory, a lot of these things can be more better, more custom, more customizable, then it should be allowed. So you guys can kind of leave your thoughts down below. I can kind of see both sides on this one. But the brand's basically read a post over here, had a lot of issues with it, and highlight Sony's complaint about the similarity between PS5 plates and the dark plates design. If you using Netflix hit show Squid Games to go defend itself. Did you know that Sony believes our distinctive and original Illuminati pyramid, radiation hazard, skull and crossbones, and angry robot head symbols, and created inside the dark plates in fridge on their trademark button shapes? And how does Squid Games get away with it? Which is all, in all honesty, rightfully so. I think it's kind of weird to go and have that trademark for like squares. Like that, that is, it's, it's, it's literally a square, <laughs> you know? Like I can kind of see like, I, I'm in the core case, if you really want to be stickler, it is like triangle, square and stuff like that. But I definitely think it's different enough that it's not this. And like, it's really hard to train Mac just a square. Now, if it's on a controller, I can maybe see it too. But even then, like look at the Xbox controllers. It, it, this is definitely a little bit of a reach, I think, on Sony's end, as at least in my opinion. So you guys can give your thoughts down below. Nibran also makes a more general point that consumers should have the right to choose which parts they use to modify, upgrade, or repair their console. And I do agree on that. Like, I don't think people should have to go and rely completely on Sony if you could, say, go to your local repair store and get it fixed or have replacements sent on out. I actually do agree on that, too, as well. I'm kind of a big fan, too, of, like, more of an open market. Whatever people think is a good product, if it's priced well, as long as you're not, like, scamming or stealing or literally, like, Lily copy pasting. I'm kind of okay with whatever company as long as they kind of do it well and efficiently and they're not scamming people. I'm sure you guys would agree. The PlayStation 5 plates do come off with a bit of filling around as Sony itself revealed in the run up to the November 2020 launch of the console. At the time, it was felt Sony planned to sell its own official placement plates of the company has yet to announce such a product. But that's why they might even just be in the working of it slash they want to do in the future or leave the options open for it. The brand speculates Sony may intend to launch its own black faceplates or is working on a licensing model where they have a monopoly over custom faceplates, which once again, I do kind of feel like I like the idea of having more options and more potentially cheaper options. I do kind of support that free market on that, but I could also understand if Sony wants to release their own like pure black or custom design ones, it could kind of lead to a little bit of confusion on that. So that's why I'm saying it kind of like depends on what happens in the next few months and few like kind of what their internal plans, which we just don't know. So the upshot is dbrand has compiled with Sony's demands. Uh, so they basically have removed all the dark plates from its website, which now contains a list of articles on the product, including one by Eurogamer. However, dbrand insisted it is only agreeing to be a takedown for now. So this actually might lead into an even bigger legal battle when it comes to just custom faceplate makers and Sony themselves. And that's why I'm kind of curious on your thoughts, because I can kind of see cases on both sides, depending on what will happen, what's being worked on internally, and all of that as well. While we strongly believe in our consumers' rights to customize and modify their hardware with aftermarket components, your dark plates are now a collector's item, D-Brand said. You know what they say, you're the diet dark plate owner, we live long enough to see yourself become the scalper. <laughs> and you guys can definitely go and see that their responses are a little bit more on the wordy side over here, which rightfully so, if you're kind of in this weird legal case, I'm sure like people are kind of throwing their emotions everywhere. But this is very intriguing. 
Uh, and usually because we don't see Sony entering too many legal big battles, and especially regards to aftermarket stuff. So I want to hear your thoughts and comments down below. Do you guys think D-Brand is right? Do you guys think that Sony is right? Or do you guys think it's just whatever and you guys really go care at the end of the day? So leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console controller, Twitter and Twitch stream as well. Link down below. And of course, sign up for Weeble, sign up for Coinbase, get your free crypto and stocks. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys later on throughout tonight for some more videos. Love you guys.